Hey guys, welcome back. What's up? I am down my local wharf today with the Femi X8 SE 2022. We're going to catch this ferry coming in. It's just starting to turn to dock now, so I'm going to get this drone up in the air and then I'm going to tell you a little bit of something that I've fooled around with and it seems to have straightened the horizon. So let's start recording. Right. Yeah, okay, we're recording. And let's auto take off. There we go. We are now we're now in the air. Put the camera down a little. So what I've done to straighten this horizon out, let's do a little droney here first. Oh. There we go. What I have done to straighten the horizon, guys, is put a filter on the camera and I ended up 3D printing a camera filter holder which kind of it's sort of like the Mavic Mini ones it grabs onto the top of the gimbal and it seems to have worked so far and we'll find out here today because it's roughly seven eight mile an hour winds with ten no I don't, I don't even think it's ten it probably is ten mile an hour gusts because it seems like the wind has picked up a bit and that's what it's telling me on the app. Seven mile an hour winds with nine mile an hour gusts, but it seems like more than that. So you guys can see one of the ferries coming in and the horizon looks good, guys. Let's see what I have the speed setting on. We are on 16 meters per second. So let's do a little bit of fast turning in that here with the drone and see if it goes off its horizon seems good same as the last time I flown it really seemed like it worked really well I can't remember what the filter is I think it's a CPL can't remember guys I'll put it up here in the corner and I'll put the brand which I think is JSR it's just a cheap Chinese filter from Aliexpress it roughly cost me about twelve dollars. Yeah, that's about as far as we're going out. But we can see that ferry. We're down to 81% battery. Let's get into tracking here and see how it does. Put it on profile. We're gonna select that ferry and we're gonna hit go. So there we go, we are tracking the ferry. Let's put the camera. Okay, we can't move the camera while it's tracking. But there you go. You get a nice view of our ferry. That's one of the three. Um, another one is just leaving here as this one is uh, pulling in. So let's actually stop tracking that because I don't want to end up flying over the one that's pulling out which is right there. Start heading back in this way. I went out a little further than what I wanted to, guys. Well, the horizon is holding, so there's your fix. I will uh, add a link to the 3D print file for the camera filter holder and a link to where I purchased the uh, filter itself. Just had a little bit of jitter on the connection. I'm at max altitude too. Doesn't really seem like I'm up 400 feet, but apparently I am. There you go guys, one leaving, one coming in. Pretty cool. Try and get the both of them in the view here. The wind is kind of knocking the uh, drone a little bit on the controls. There we 
go. Yeah, Horizon is uh, holding steady. It's it looks great. So that's your fix for now. It adds a little more weight on the gimbal, and I guess that's all it needed to correct that horizon going off. Now, I haven't noticed it go off at all since I've been using this camera filter. But uh, it's pretty terrible that you have to have a filter on all the time to keep your horizon steady. Because we're going to have some cloudy days and such and uh, it's not going to look that great with that filter on. Now just luckily it's uh, kind of a sunny day here today. It's a little bit overcast. Starting to cloud over somewhat. Well, what do you think guys? How do you like that view? You can see these vessels have a helipad on top of them. And that's just in case something were to happen out at sea, they could get uh, get airlift. They can get passengers airlifted back in. You can see the vehicles on on the ship there. This one is just coming into port, just starting to dock. So they usually come in backwards into the harbor and then they uh, they pull in. Here you can see some of that rust on that ship, eh? It's from that salt water. Okay. So we know it works good, guys. We have a nice level horizon now. It might be a... No, it's on. It's it's dead on. It's just the uh, landscape of the land there when I turn this way it makes it look like it's off a little. Now if I turn towards, just out towards the ocean, I, I can tell it's perfect. So it's good. Really good. It's telling me unable to enter GPS mode, but it's showing me I have 16 satellites. And at the top of the screen it's saying in-flight GPS. So I don't know what the errors are on this uh, that you get every time you fly. It usually tells me there's uh, interference. But today it's saying up in the top right corner, top left corner, sorry, unable to enter GPS mode. Please fly, fly carefully. So you guys can see where I'm parked. And Indian Beach is right here to the right. That's Indian Beach. We're down to 58% battery. We've been filming for 8 minutes now exactly. We'll catch this ferry a little bit I guess before we land this drone. Maybe we will take a thumbnail so yeah I guess I'm gonna end this video here guys since we know that uh, horizon is great I'm gonna stop recording since we know horizon is good that's the uh, fix for now so if you're new to our channel you like the uh, content we produce please consider subscribing leave a like Leave a comment, make sure your notifications are on guys, and until the next video, catch you later. Peace.